pepper here too also so we're gonna do turmeric powder it's good for you but it's also good in the curry it also helps the color to give it a nice nice yellow pretty color here is your green seasoning or blend up already that's just like your pepper thyme and stuff like that in here okay also I have used some carrots cut up with sweet potato because my grandmother always makes sure that the food no so she stretch it with some extra veggies all right here you go I have you all your cut up fresh seasoning okay so in your fresh seasoning you have some scallion and thyme some sweet pepper some scotch bonnet pepper some ginger okay over here I have the um, peas already boiled and drained and I have used the rice okay and the coconut milk all right when it's time to put the coconut milk I'm gonna show you how I do that for now I am only gonna season up the curry goat is not the goat meat. So you know that this Tuesday dinner just get torn out. Okay? Get ready. So that is your garlic powder. You have your lime and pepper. You will have the curry. Remember guys, it's two kind of curry. So you know say if you want your curry to taste good, you have to put some extra spicy curry in there and that make it well nice okay I am going to add the green seasoning here you go I'm going to add some black pepper remember again guys depend how much meat you're cooking that's the amount you, need. you have to use a discretion to the amount of season that you need and here is your pimento seed Pimento seed is a must in every meal, I would say. Or almost every meal, I put pimento seed. Okay? So, here we go. We're just gonna rub it up together. Massage it in. Then gloves are together on hand. And I figure by the side. Okay? But yeah, we're just gonna rub it up like this. Get every nick and corner of it. Okay. And blow it on the make it so. Okay, so here's 
So here is all your fresh veggies. We're just gonna pour that out in there. And mix it up. Your scotch bonnet pepper, your sweet pepper, your green onion, your scallion, garlic, everything in this. Guys, if you can only smell this and you know cook it, can you imagine when it cook? Oh God, trust me guys. This one here, yeah, are the curry for your life. See there? Mm -hmm. See there? See there? So you go. See all the nice pretty color? I'm gonna marinate it, all right? So, we're gonna just Leave it to marinate for a little bit while we get the rest of stuff ready to go for the mix for the rice and peas. Guys, the carrots, I'm not gonna put it in there until after maybe about five minutes before the finishing touch, you know, because I don't want it to mash out too much. So, yeah, so this is your curry goat before cook. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that aside for now. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, guys, so I am going to cover this up. So I'm just gonna scrape it into here. Sometimes I season this like the day before, but because I'm doing it with you guys, I am doing it right off the bat. So we're gonna cover that up. There you go, guys. I love colors. Okay guys, so we are going to add our meat to the oil. I did some um, coconut oil, let it melt and put some scallion and thyme and pimento inside. So now we're just gonna pour it out. Don't make the oil too hot because you don't want to burn your curry, okay? Nothing tastes bad like burnt curry. Okay guys, so... It's in there. Okay guys, so after 10 minutes, okay, this is how the goat is looking. I slow cook my goat by the way, so yeah. Slow cook it. Let it still soak and marinate while cooking. And guys, if you're wondering why I have um, my vegetables in there so early, for those of you who have tasted my goat meat. Now, this is the reason why I do cook the first set of vegetable with it and after I'm still going to add some more. Okay guys? So that's the reason why. So there you go guys. That's how it's looking. 
looking. a nice pretty color guys if you can only take a smell of this for real i'm telling you the smell is kicking up us Stop. just like our kimbella kitchen me yeah, cook up a star i'm gonna cover it and continue to cook i'm gonna go wash your rice and get it ready because the pot i get ready put the rice in so stay tuned Okay guys, so this is your rice and peas here boiling. Inside this pot is the peas, scallion, thyme, garlic, pimento seed, green season, and a scotch bonnet pepper alongside with the famous coconut milk. Okay, so I use the grazed coconut milk. Okay. It. The rice is ready to go in. It's been boiling for an extra 10 minutes. Rice is already washed. It is brown rice. Okay, so I'm just gonna add your rice and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is your rice. I'm about to cover it and leave it to boil, cook. Okay, so we'll be back. There is your rice and peas, guys. Rice and peas. Open up the meal. There is it. Brown rice with rice and peas. Okay, guys. That's the final cook. That's what it looks like when I'm finished cooking. So, as you see it when I clean it, okay? Yes, guys. I'm just gonna check on it and see what it looks like. Boy, mm -mm. if you smell this, you won't even want to wait till they cook for your start eating. But you know, say a curry, so you have to wait, see me? Alright. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. If you could smell this, if you can only smell it. Oh. Wow. And the color is amazing. See that, guys? Okay. I'm cooking it on low guys so it could spring its own water because yes I'm gonna like add water for our meat so yeah I'm gonna wash out my seasoning then so I'm gonna make it cook and slow it's gonna spring its own water and just keep simmer down and get tender see it guys yeah. I'm cooking it on low, medium heat, I would say. Medium heat. So, yeah, it's have a one. Boil, cook up. Mm. Man, if you can only simmer it. No, sir. My bad, sir. Yeah. I saw me do it in a Kim Bella kitchen. You see me, I say? In a Kimbella kitchen, a summit wheat, cook up a star. Yeah. I'll show you guys again when I'm going to put the extra vegetables inside. All right? Okay, guys. So here I'm going, just going to add in the extra vegetables. Your onion, pepper, sweet pepper, scallion, garlic. I'm just going to add that in. Okay. And I'm also going to add the, the thyme, carrots, and potatoes, okay? And we're going to let that cook down. It's almost there, guys. Almost there. Okay, I'm just going to let that cook down. Okay, there it is, guys. There is a nice, clean curry goat. Some chewing down in Kim Bella's kitchen. There you go, guys. That's what it looks like. There you go, guys. No grease, no, no oil. That's it, guys. Gravy. I'm just gonna simmer down with that. And then I 
I'll be back with the plating. Cover it down. And then I'll be back. There you go, guys. This is the final result. Okay. That's what it looks like. You see the glaze in that meat. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, guys. And draw with your eyes. But try this at home, guys. It's finger licking good, guys. This is yummy for your tummy. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.